Hello everyone! Today I'll show you what I carry in my new Kenken backpack, which I've been taking with me to college almost every single day. I will talk more about the specific features of this backpack later in the video, but first I really want to show you each individual item that I carry with me to college. First of all, my Le Monde bullet journal. I carry this notebook with me everywhere I go, and college would not be an exception, of course. I keep here my to-do lists, reading lists, and all the different spreads I need to get organized for college. Since I carry my laptop with me as well, I tend to switch between this notebook and the calendar in my Mac, mostly for monthly tasks and class organization. Either way, the combination of both is more than enough for me to organize all the tasks for the day. After that, I keep a Ted Baker makeup bag to store my favorite pants. I tend to prefer makeup bags over pencil cases since I prefer their size and shape to carry things like post-it notes, bulky highlighters and the such. I've been currently using my Staedtler fineliners a lot as well as Tumbo brush pens for highlighting and hand lettering. Then of course, my glasses. I only started using glasses in the end of my law degree, but without them I can't read most PowerPoint presentations or any diagrams or words written on the whiteboard, so I really need to bring them with me. I also tend to keep a water bottle with me at all times. This one is from Starbucks, but I'm really not sure if you can still buy one since I've stopped seeing them on the shelves of my local coffee shop. This varies per class, but I usually carry some legislation in my backpack as well. Although I can consult most of these documents in the internet or in class, I really prefer having a paper version nearby, since I can write down my own notes and highlight the most relevant legal provisions. Afterwards, I have my Moleskine A4 Pro notebook, which is my latest new favorite thing in the stationary world. I'm currently using this notebook to write all notes for all subjects, since the classes in my masters mostly consist of short seminars, so I can keep with this notebook all notes organized in one place. The paper is thicker than regular Moleskine notebooks and all pages are numbered and planned out in a table of contents, so I can reference each page according to class and topic. Besides my legislation and notebook for class notes, I sometimes print out the materials given by the professor in the beginning of the term. That way, I can follow the lecture according to those written documents. These class materials really vary in length and content, but they are the core of each one of my subjects and it's really essential for me to have them all printed out and ready to annotate and highlight before exams. Finally, but not least, I always carry my laptop with me, either in my backpack or in a protective sleeve. I use my laptop to look up for certain words or research something in class, as well as having access to certain class materials that I prefer to keep in digital form. Then, in the small front pockets, I take my phone, my keys and other small personal items. The backpack I use to carry all of these is the Kenken No. 2 in deep red. This was actually a gift for Christmas, but you can order most of these backpacks from their official website online. The main difference between the original Kenken and the number 2 are the leather details in the handles and the front logo, and maybe a few different color options. This backpack's key feature is its design, which allows you for a really straight and comfortable bag, something that's difficult to find when you're carrying tons of notebooks and textbooks with you to school. It also has adjustable straps, tons of storage space and the fact that the main compartment opens like a flap makes it really easy to organize all of your items inside. You can also switch it around and carry it using the handles on the top. Before I end this video, I want to thank Setup for sponsoring this What's In My Backpack episode without interfering with its content. Setup is a service very similar to Netflix and Spotify that operates with more than 100 apps for macOS. The idea is that instead of paying for individual study apps, you simply pay a subscription service that allows you to have all of those individual premium subscriptions without having to worry about their price point. If you are a student, you even have access to a 50% discount that allows you to use all of these student-friendly apps for less than $5 a month. As such, you subscribe to Setup for a monthly fee and this subscription gives you access to programs such as Manuscripts, Be Focused, Instant Translate, Money Whiz, Studies, Good Task, X Mind, Task Paper, and so on. These are programs that help you manage your time, classes, create documents for class, as well as project planning and mind map creation. 
Some of these apps, such as XMind, which allows you to create complex mind maps, individually retail for about $100. For instance, paying $5 a month for XMind while still having access to dozens of other type management and organization apps can really be worth your money on the long run. Also, setup is very easy to use. All you have to do is sign up with your email account and then search through the different categories of apps that are available to you. Whenever you want to access one of these apps, all you need to do is open Setup, which functions as a main app in itself, and find your favorite apps right away. To have access to them all, all you have to do is pay your $5 or $9 monthly subscription, and if you feel like you don't need Setup anymore, just cancel it anytime and it will stop billing your card. Also, since this service is ever-evolving, you'll have access to new arrivals all the time, so you may get more apps than what you've originally subscribed for. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!